primary mission with the Natiza project is to serve the network engineering side of the house and to make sure that our customers are having a quality experience with our network. We also do serve the rest of the organization and so we've been able to send data to revenue assurance, to billing, to marketing. We've even begun an initiative with social networking analytics and we're able to work with marketing and customer care to even do some uh, fairly real-time interventions to try and um, prevent churn, which is kind of an exciting initiative. Everything that we do with Natiza pretty much was impossible before. It was a complete change in our experience of data warehousing when we moved to Natiza. Um, we were not able to do nationwide searches before or any kind of aggregations at a whole network level. That was just inconceivable. So we're able to do that now in, you know, just seconds in with the Natiza and that's changed everything for us. We were replacing a 40 terabyte Oracle system and we replaced it with a 100 terabyte 10800. As we scaled from 100 terabytes to 200 terabytes to 500 terabytes to petabyte and now to petabytes, we still have the same team. There's just a, a principal engineer, a lead software developer and uh, or lead SQL developer and uh, a product manager who interfaces with the business and tries to understand those needs and get those needs met. We load 17 billion records a day and uh, we have 150,000 ETL processes or ELT processes each day serving 1,300 customers with direct access through a web interface. And all of these things are maintained by a very tiny team within a department, within an organization under the umbrella of T-Mobile. There was a, a family stranded off the coast of Miami and they were just out there, their boat had capsized and in the process of uh, the capsizing of the boat they got one phone call out but um, you know when your phone is wet it powers off, there's, there's nothing you can do. We were able to assist the Coast Guard in tracing the last tower that that call was um, made from and able to, to give an area where that boat was capsized. Otherwise, the search uh, could have taken many more hours. Uh, they were able to find them, you know, I think within just an hour or so.